See guys, good morning to everyone. Today we are going to discuss slope and deflection by conjugate beam method. The conjugate beam method is a modified method of moment area theorem. The advantage of conjugate beam method, we can calculate slope and deflection for beams varying its flexural rigidity. In moment area theorem, we cannot calculate slope, we can, it's very difficult to calculate and it's not possible to calculate slope and deflection for beams varying its flexural rigidity. Conjugate beam method the theorem was the modified form of moment area theorem and this conjugate beam theorem was proposed by Watawa Mohan in 1868. The conjugate beam, theorem, conjugate beam method is based on the two theorems of Mohan. The first theorem of conjugate beam The first theorem of conjugate B gives the value of slope, it's a theta. The slope of actual B the slope of the actual B is the shear force of conjugate B. This is the first theorem of conjugate beam. The first theorem states that the value of slope of actual beam is the shear force of conjugate beam. And coming to this, what is the conjugate beam? Conjugate beam is the imaginary beam uh, having a span. The span of conjugate beam is equal to the span of actual beam. And the width of this imaginary beam or conjugate beam it is 1 by EI. The conjugate beam is nothing but an imaginary beam having a span is equal to the span of actual beam and the width of the conjugate beam or an imaginary beam is the 1 by EI. And coming to the second, second theorem of conjugate beam gives the value of deflection. The deflection of actual beam The deflection of actual beam is the second theorem of the conjugate beam. It is the bending moment of is the bending moment of conjugate beam. The first theorem gives the value of slope of actual beam, and the second theorem gives the value of deflection of actual beam. Thank you, guys.